photographers are appearing uh, in front of the official party, and it seems as if they are going to go directly to the uh, exhibit, which uh, Professor... No, they have turned, and they're going into the building, and uh, Dr. Spear uh, will, while Mr. Khrushchev is out of view of our television cameras, uh, explain to you uh, exactly what... Uh, uh, Dr. Catron will explain later to uh, Chairman Khrushchev. Here is Dr. Spear. All right, uh, we thought we would go through this display before the mob of reporters got here so the uh, TV audience would have a chance at seeing just what Mr. Khrushchev will see. His first stop out here, of course, will be this pen of today's meat-type hog. Uh, the swine industry is striving to reduce the amount of fat uh, in pork, and this is the type of a pig uh, which will yield a uh, high uh, dressing uh, carcass, giving us a, a high percentage of good lean cuts uh, in uh, pork. Now, we will move over to the other table and he will see a uh, display on the modern life cycle swine feeding program, uh, again, that has been developed here at Iowa State College. In this uh, section, uh, we have displayed here a chart showing the complete life cycle of the pig, the various stages of gestation, lactation, uh, growing and finishing. In this display, we have pictured the amount of feed involved in producing a 200-pound market pig from 10 pounds of body weight, in other words, two weeks after farrowing until market weight. During the first few days of the baby pig's uh, life after weaning, uh, we will feed this pig three pounds of a 20% pig starter. We will then change the ration to a 25% or 25 pounds of an 18% pig starter. The ration is again changed at approximately 25 pounds of body weight and 50 pounds of a 16% pig, pig grower is fed. <coughs> When the pig weighs in the neighborhood of 50 pounds, the ration is again changed to a 14% pig grower and a total of 204 pounds fed. At a body weight of 125 pounds, the ration is again changed to a 12% finisher ration, making a total of 532 pounds of feed that is fed to today's meat type pig or a feed efficiency and again Mr. Khrushchev will be very interested in this a feed efficiency of 2.8 pounds of feed building than we did on our original uh, run through of what was to happen here on our television pickup there is an animated discussion now going on between uh, Professor Katrin and Chairman Khrushchev and in just a moment uh, uh, Professor Katrin will uh, pick up another microphone and we hope that you will be able to hear the discussion, the questions and the answers and the interpretations uh, as Professor Katrin explains this exhibit to Chairman Khrushchev. That is uh, only a small alcove, as it were. Uh, Mr. Khrushchev is uh, to be in that uh, location for only a moment or so, and then he will uh, return to the area which uh, is a little bit uh, to the left, uh, out of range in your picture, where Dr. Spear explained the exhibit to you just a moment ago. Also, uh, the discussion will be on a public address uh, system here, and uh, the press will be able to hear Professor Katrin's uh, explanations to Mr. Khrushchev. 
Something else seems to have captured his attention for a moment because he's remaining. Pig, disease controlled laboratory, uh, Jack. Uh, I believe the uh, Professor Catron is picking up our other microphone. No, not yet, but uh, in a moment we hope that you'll be able to hear this uh, conversation between the manager of the Swine Nutrition Farm and Chairman Khrushchev. Yes, apparently Dr. Caitlin is having some trouble uh, finding There we go. There he has Now, uh, Chairman Khrushchev, I'd like to show you some of the basic sciences involved in our swine nutrition research today. Chemistry. Enzymology. Engineering. Statistics. Endocrinology. Bacteriology. Anatomy and physiology. These are all the different disciplines which we are using today in our research techniques. Now, if I might, I would like to show you again here uh, our what we call a life cycle feeding program. If you would come down here, please. We try to divide the life cycle of swine into different sections. different periods so that we can study the nutritional requirements during these different periods and build the rations according to the nutritional needs during the different periods. And if I might, I'd like for, us, for you to see here, we start out here with the pre-starter for the baby pig. It takes three pounds of this pre-starter. Then we go to a starter, to starter ration, and then a grower ration. That is a day's ration? No, that's the amount to make a 200-pound market haul from farrowing. Coming from farrowing to market, it takes three pounds of a pre-starter, born when they're... Составные, так сказать, элементы для того, чтобы откормить от рождения до убоя. You know, these are the, the elements. These, no, these are the complete feeds. I will show that the individual bags are the, the components of, of the diet. No, there are complete rations within themselves, sir. This, uh, this is... Yeah, but that's right. The components within the, the entire lifespan. That's right. That's right. Starting with the pre-starter. Then the starter ration. Then the grower ration. And then we have another grower. And then a finisher ration. And all total, it takes 532 pounds of feed to make a 200-pound market hog from birth to 200 pounds. These are scientifically balanced rations, the best we know how to build them. Very good. Then I would like to show you, if I can get my cord loose here, gentlemen, uh, please. All right. This is a scientifically balanced baby pig 20% starter ration. These are the different ingredients, like corn, soybean oil meal, whey, skim milk, condensed fish solubles, distiller solubles, fat, calcium carbonate, and then we down here have salt, trace mineral mixtures like iron, copper, cobalt, manganese, and zinc. We are adding enzymes to these baby pig rations to help them digest their feed better. Antioxidant and a flavor to make them eat it better. Then the different vitamins. Vitamin A, vitamin D, riboflavin, panathenic acid, niacin, B12, and antibiotics. 
This helps to protect the health of the pig. Thank you very much, Damon. And now, Chairman Khrushchev, on behalf of the Faculty in Agriculture at Iowa State College, we'd like to give you a token of remembrance to you on your visit here. And this is a meat-type hog, which we hope you will carry back and put on your desk to remember Iowa State University. We're very happy you were here today. I mean, that